When the Fat Shark Dominator HD system came out, I thought it was pretty bad and had a lot of room for improvement. And they made it better with a firmware update, but it still wasn't anything that I would have been happy to have spent my money on and nothing that I would even consider switching to full time. But Walksnail have released a new firmware. It's 2323.4 at the time that I'm uh, making this video. That's the latest. And it is way, way better. And the purpose of this video is to show you some footage from this firmware so you can decide for yourself whether it's gotten good enough to be something that you would feel happy flying. I'm Joshua Bardwell and you're going to learn something today. So just to give you a little context for this video, uh, I went on a trip to Portland to shoot Rotoriot episodes and I flew this system pretty much exclusively, not quite exclusively, but pretty much exclusively for the whole weekend. I would say I got, you know, 30 to 50 packs on it total over the course of the weekend. And I'm gonna show you this footage and you can decide what you think, uh, whether it's something you'd be happy owning or whether you think it still is beat out by another system. I, I wanna encourage you to watch this in 4K if at all possible. Yes, the DVR is only 720p, but YouTube's bitrate is really bad and you just don't get a lot of detail if you watch at the native resolution. So I'm uploading in 4K and if you're not watching in at least 1080p, but preferably 4K, you just aren't seeing the quality of image that's in the raw file. Okay. The reason this location is so important is that even though we are moving slowly, and I am going to show you some fast moving footage as well as some other freestyle, I'm just sort of tooling around here. But the reason this location is so important is that there's lots of little branches and leaves and twigs and scraggles, lots of little detail that if the system wasn't performing up to spec, then, uh, then I wouldn't be able to do some of the things that I'm doing. The other thing I want you to keep an eye on is the delay parameter in the lower left. Now that delay parameter is relatively low because I'm flying relatively close to myself, but I want you to look for those spikes in delay that, uh, that we were seeing where it jumps up suddenly to 80, 90, 100 milliseconds. There's just none of them. The delay is absolutely solid. And I can tell you that over the course of the weekend, flying in other locations that were a little further out, the delay was solid. Um, the only time we saw spikes in delay was when somebody else powered up near you, which, uh, you know, that's just how these systems work. <laughs> Come on, Bardwell. One of the complaints that people have made about review videos about this system is that people don't push it hard. They're just tooling around. I think that just tooling around is a good way for you to see the image quality without being distracted by the quality of the pilots flying. But in this location, I tried to do some like just fast, fast runs. I'm not a, like a super pro racer, so I'm not zipping around uh, like gates or anything, but I opened up the throttle and really pushed the quad to go as fast as I could. Here's flying over some grass. Uh, you can see it does get a little blurry. Uh, there's some motion blur, of course, because it's a dim day, but uh, I really just opened the quad up and tried to rip and give you a perspective on what that might be like. Now here's a little bit of freestyle and I'm gonna start the uh, flight from right where I'm standing so you can get a sense of about how far away I am. You can also glance down at the distance parameter in the subtitle track, which is trying to estimate the rough distance uh, away based on some characteristic of the link. I don't really know what it is, but it's estimating that I'm at a distance of about 100 to 150 meters from myself. Uh, and we're still pretty much holding in there at 25 megabits per second. And the delay is... Uh, Staying pretty solid. We are seeing little jumps up to 50 milliseconds as I dive down in. Uh, you can decide whether you care about that or not. Uh, we were struggling a little bit with people stomping on each other while we were flying. We didn't realize that the Avatar goggles are always transmitting. Even when the quad is powered down, the goggles are transmitting. And so we had some situations where we were blasting each other. It doesn't seem like that's going on here, though. It just seems to drop down to... Uh, go up to about 50 milliseconds when I drop down in and then come back down again. So little blips in, in latency, uh, but I found it to be pretty flyable, at least within the range of my skill as a pilot, such as 
It is. Ooh. We're going to take a look at one more location. This was a sunnier part of the day. We are at a parking lot, but as you can see, there is some grass and trees as well. Uh, some people feel it looks worse flying over grass or in trees, so there you go. I'm going to be trying to do these, uh, this little matty flip trick, and you're going to get to see me screw it up a bunch of times. But suffice it to say, that's because of my piloting skill and not because of the video system. Uh, the video system is pretty solid. This is the first time I've flown this firmware, and I thought that if I had bought it on day one, I would be happy with it. And if something, if aliens wipe DJI off the face of the earth and I was like, well, what am I going to use next? This would be a top contender for what I would switch to next. And I, I wouldn't have said that on any of the previous firmwares. I used this all weekend. I was happy with it. I got to do some more testing, but I think under some conditions, it looks even better than DJI. And that's with 25 megabit per second only. We were flying with other people, and so we were being polite and flying in 25 megabit per second mode, not even trying 50 megabit per second mode. Uh, unfortunately, I smoked the motors on this quad, and I can't fly 50 megabit per second to demo that for you today, but I'll demo that for you another day. In terms of things that still need improvement, the main one is the durability of the system. Uh, the video transmitters are just not as durable as the DJI transmitters, and when they cost 100 bucks for a new VTX, that is saying a lot. We're all kind of used to smoking analog VTXs every now and then, and we kind of live with it, but uh, those things cost maybe 30 to 50 bucks. This is a lot more. And I haven't personally smoked one, but the other people I was flying with, the other Rotoriot pilots, some of them have one or two or maybe three of these VTXs under their belt that have died over the course of just beating the hell out of them. Walksnail is working on that. Drew says that he is taking pictures and sending all the broken ones that they have back to Walksnail so they can analyze how they failed and think about ways to make them better. And who knows if that'll pan out, but maybe it will. Definitely has to be acknowledged, though, that the durability is just not there. And that is certainly a factor when thinking about switching to this system. I hope that Walksnail continues to improve at the same pace that they have been improving, because if so, uh, this system is going to be really excellent. As it is, I feel like it has finally achieved parity with DJI in terms of its overall value for money and should you consider picking it. And in some ways it's even better, although in some ways uh, DJI still has an edge. There's one area where DJI definitely has an edge and that is what happens if you interrupt a firmware flash. If you interrupt a firmware flash on the Walksnail FatTrack system, it's bricked and you have to send it back to China to get it unbricked. But that's not actually true because the FPV WTF team has released a unbricking method and that video is gonna be coming out on my channel tomorrow, except if it's already out, I'll put a card on screen so you can check it out. That's gonna do it for now. Let me know what you think of this down in the comments. Is it good enough for you yet? Happy flying.